Hello everyone, this is Simple Cody. In this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to update your build slash wizard. Now, this is a follow-up tutorial on the video that I made earlier today, which was how to create your own wizard slash build. Now, if you didn't watch that video, I'll leave an annotation on the screen so you guys could go ahead and watch it, and a link in the description below. So, uh, for this video, I'll create a minor update for uh, the build that we already had. So as you can see, I have two add-ons, video add-ons, which is the video TV, v uh, Vivo TV, sorry, and the Simple Cody Wizard, which we created earlier uh, in the other video. And I have the Music Vivo TV add-on. So I'm just going to be adding a, a Genesis t uh, video add-on. Now you could do this, there's two ways of doing this. You could do this manually from Cody. So let's say... Uh, downloading uh, add-ons from Kodi right here and adding sources and downloading and changing everything from here but for this video I'll do it out of Kodi because it's just easy to do and it will be uh, real quick because I'll have to add just one uh, video plugin so first thing I'll suggest you guys do is create a new folder call it old build so you guys have a backup on everything so just copy the build that we created the last video and put it in a backup uh, folder we can close it now we don't need this uh, wizard because uh, we're just going to be updating the build itself so extract the file the build in a folder or or on your desktop and uh, right here I have the add-ons right here and I have Genesis in is a file right here I'm just gonna drag and drop it like so and it's gonna be in my build so right now I'll just have to let me just copy the name so I'll have to uh, highlight these three files add to archive zip file OK and it's gonna create a zip file right here I could put the old one in the uh, old build folder I created but I already did that so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it and rename the the new zip file the exact same name as the old build Make sure it's the exact same name. After that, go to Dropbox, sign in. You should already have an account if you follow the last tutorial. And go into Build. And right here, we're just gonna drag. We're just gonna drag and drop the the new zip we created to Dropbox. Give it some time, and it should upload update. and it's green so it updated so we could open up Kodi now let me show you again I don't, I don't have Genesis on my video add-ons so now if I go to programs simple Kodi wizard and I download my wizard again my build again sorry give it some time And it's going to ask me to force close it, close, and open up Kodi again. Go to video, video add on, and Genesis is right there. It works, and everything like that. Now, if you made a, uh, a change from Kodi, so let's say you uh, changed the skin and everything from Kodi, to do the update, you just basically need to open up run. You should already know how to do that. Percent app data percent slash Kodi. And again, you highlight add-ons, hold control, media, and user data, and you right-click and add to archive, zip file, OK, create the zip, and make sure it has the same exact name as the one you have on Dropbox. And you just basically drag and drop this one to Dropbox. Now, that's only if you made the changes in Kodi. Uh, so yeah that's pretty much it now if you want to remove an add-on so let's say we want to remove uh, Genesis let's say it does not work anymore uh, there's there's something in it that does not work so the way to do this is you could uh, ex let me just delete these files right here and delete this one we don't need it so again you need to extract the files no actually yeah extract the files of your newest uh, build ok 
get mediums right there and add-ons so let's say we want to remove Genesis now the problem is you cannot remove you can't just delete this and it will automatically get removed when uh, you update the uh, build the problem is uh, uh, you can't remove a an add-on from someone's system now if there's a way of doing this please let me know in the description below in the comment section below and uh, I'll I'll make a video on it so the way that I do it is basically just uh, opening the add-on.xml changing the version of the add-on that let's say Genesis doesn't work so putting the version one uh, uh, one version higher so 3.2.1 will be 3.2.2 .2 and changing the name to delete and putting it all in red let me just do that real quick color equal red and hit save now you don't have to do that you could just leave the add-on there and sit there but that's just the way f uh, for me so people know that they would delete this one because you can't automatically delete it for people people have to delete it by their own that is the only problem that uh, I don't know how to do yet if someone knows how to do it like uh, so it, it deletes from people's systems please let me know so I'll just delete all the files except add-on.xml uh, delete hello okay and I would rezip it again copy the name delete this one okay rename it again it's the exact same name and copy and drag and drop it to Dropbox oops it downloaded instead of make sure the highlighted green is around it like so and give it some time and it updated so open up Cody now Genesis is still there now so we're gonna have to go and update our build so basically downloading it again now you don't have to do this again like I said you could just keep it there and just stop up the, uh, uh, updating it but this is a way to remove all the uh, add-ons that are not working so they don't take up space in your build so as you can see it says delete for Genesis the problem is it still works because the files are still on my system everything works with it so that's the only problem so just let people know uh, if they see something like this delete to download uh, to delete it themselves so right click on it add on information and in uninstall and that will uninstall it automatically now if I uninstall it right here and uh, let's say I have a fresh install of Kodi it will not be there the uh, delete will be there only or actually it will not even work let's just try it I just installed uh, the uh, Genesis so close open up Cody again video video add-on you see delete does not work that's because we uninstalled the uh, Genesis before already so that's just a simple uh, a way of doing it if someone knows how to do it the right way please let me know and uh, yeah that's pretty much it on how to update your add-on for uh, your sorry your build for your own uh, wizard and build so if you guys found this tutorial helpful please uh, leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions leave them down in the description in the comment section below so thank you very much for watching this video and have a nice day bye bye